Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the circulation pump inlet grommet in your dishwasher, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Use a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the lower access panels. Remove the outer panel along with the inner panel and the attached insulation. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the terminal box from the right support rail. Detach the cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the terminal box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the dishwasher back and rest it on a towel or blanket. Disconnect the circulation pump and drain pump wire connectors. Release the retaining clamps securing the drain hose to the pump assembly and pull the hose free. Separate the insulation retainer securing the insulation on the right side and move the insulation out of the way. Pull the circulation pump assembly out and down to detach it from the sump. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help pry the assembly free of the inlet grommet. You can now use the screwdriver to fully remove the old grommet. Install the new inlet grommet by aligning it on the circulation pump assembly. Confirm that the isolator is in place in the sump. Apply some water to the grommet, then insert the pump hanger into the isolator as you insert the grommet into the sump port. Make sure the pump retaining stud is inside the lip of the tank. Realign the insulation and secure it with the retainers. Reattach the drain hose to the pump assembly and secure it with the clamp. 
Reconnect the drain pump and circulation pump wire connectors. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Reposition the insulation blanket on the dishwasher. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief in the terminal box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and the white wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover, then thread the screw to secure the box to the support rail. Reconnect the water supply line elbow fitting to the inlet valve. Reposition the inner access panel and insulation, followed by the outer panel. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power and your dishwasher should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.